Hi everybody. So uh, today we're going to talk about a company um, that was called Boardroom, and I think it is still alive under a different name, uh, but they're not quite as big, relatively speaking, as they used to be. It was a publishing company, and back in the 80s and maybe 90s, for sure in the 70s, they were a powerhouse, and sometimes they would mail uh, marketing packages to maybe a hundred million people, so one third of the population of the United States. So a huge company and very, very savvy marketers. Um, and they always hired the um, most expensive copywriters. Uh, and so in the copywriting industry, they became extremely, uh, they, they became so uh, dominant, yeah, everybody wanted to work for them. And they paid the copywriters handsomely a fee, and then they also paid them um, commission uh, for each mailing sent. So a uh, very interesting company, and they had a copywriter called Mel Martin. And uh, Mel Martin is now a legend um, that we all study. All good copywriters study Mel Martin. And Mel Martin was kept secret at uh, boardroom. So uh, he basically never went to the office. He worked at home. And the CEO of Boardroom never told anybody who the copywriter was. Um, and uh, this guy was just one of those naturals that um, revolutionized the copywriting industry. So um, his specialty were fascinations. And fascinations was the name that they gave to these bullet points that you see in this ad. This ad is from him, uh, from a boardroom publication. And these bullet points that we usually just call bullets uh, were uh, written in a special way by Mel Martin so that they were extremely sticky and they had a lot of curiosity. Curiosity was definitely the thing and they were called fascinations because um, basically they fascinated you into buying whatever it was that they were selling. So if we look at the headline, it doesn't look like anything. Uh, it doesn't make uh, huge promises, but it talks to basically all golfers feel that way. So I'm going to read the headline for golfers who are almost but not quite satisfied with their game and can't figure out what they're doing wrong. I mean, that that basically describes 99% of golfers, right? Um, and then if you look at the fascinations, let, let's look at the second one, for example. It, it says, if you feel guilty about forgetting to keep your head down, forget it. That's not the reason why you've been top, top, Topping your shots? I don't know. This is uh, golf vocabulary. And then he gives a page number for the book. See page 123. And this see page 123 is basically a proof element. Yeah? So basically, it's telling the, the reader, ah, yes, I can find this out. It's not just an ad that has been written and uh, it's uh, over the top. No, this is really in the book. Yeah. Now, uh, the next bullet, it says how to make the natural errors in your golf swing start working in your favor. I mean, this, if you know golfers, you know that they're maniacs. They love their sport and an error um, turned into an advantage. Wow huge right and then again he gives page 187 yeah so um he was a very very slow copywriter basically uh he did research all the time and that's why his ads are so effective 
And also, he put things away for a while, and then re. So basically, he let he slept on it. He slept on it, so to speak, right? So he wrote something, then he put it away for a week, then he reread it, and then that is a huge, huge um, thing that everybody should do. I do it myself every time I do that. I catch huge mistakes in my copy that I didn't know I was making. It's super helpful. Um, how about the design? Of course, it's a newspaper, right? So it's going to be black and white. Uh, but notice that it's a top to bottom situation where the most important stuff is at the top. Then you don't have a wall of text. You have bullets. Bullets are more manageable. It doesn't feel like you're, you're reading the Bible, you know, a huge wall of text, nothing like that, right? Uh, you have a picture at the bottom, but it's not necessarily very, um, very important. It just lets you know, yeah, we're selling you a book. This is a book, what we're selling you. Uh, not coaching services, nothing else like that. So um, also the fonts used. Um, very readable fonts. Um, there is use of all caps in places where it's very important. There's also use of italics in certain places. Um, so um, they're using formatting to make their ad easier to read, uh, easier to digest, um, so that it doesn't feel like you're reading something that is um, tedious to do, right? Now, they're using a serif font. I don't know if you know what a serif font. It's when the letters have these little extra edges at the end that um, they kind of guide the eye to the next letter. And then they're using, yeah, they're, it seems like they're using the same font for everything, a serif font. I am also very partial to serif fonts like Times New Roman, Georgia, and the like. Um, they they do read better, I find. Also, the typewriter fonts are really good, uh, really easy to read. So uh, that's it for Mel Martin today. Uh, thank you so much.